Today we're going to look at Frida Kahlo's face. As you can see, she always wore fresh flowers in her hair. She loved fancy jewelry, as you can see by her earrings here and here, and her necklace is always super ornate. And she loved bright lipstick, really bright oranges, pinks, and reds. And she was well known for her brow, which looks like a bird. Depending on the effect that you want to get, you can use a brown paper bag or you can use white paper. You're going to fold the paper in four, see like this? And then if you choose to use a paper bag, you can just trace a piece of white paper on it and then cut it out with scissors. You might want to use a paper bag if you want to use a darker skin, skin tone. Once you choose your surface, take your pencil. Now on the middle line, you're going to put a dot somewhere in the middle of that line. And then over here on the left, you're going to put a dot just above the center. And then on the right, you're going to put a dot somewhere on the center. Just follow mine. Then you're going to draw a swoop from that lower left up to the middle and a swoop down to the lower right. Mine doesn't match, but that's okay. Now we're going to put a dot somewhere near the bottom of the page, not too low. Just make a little smile down there. And we're going to connect down, go straight down and stop a little bit and then you're going to swoop down. And it's okay if this takes you a few tries. Do this on both sides. You can always erase if you don't like it and go back and do it again. But it should look like a shield when you're done. Add two lines on either side. This will make the neck. Make them as straight as you can. Now you're going to make an ear. It kind of looks like a parenthesis. You're just going to do this little narrow oval on both sides of the head. Now we're going to make the hair. You're just going to go straight up. Oops, I went too far in. But I'll fix that afterwards. And then come down. You want it to be a little poofy on the side. So it's going to look a little weird. See how it connected it down to the, to the ear? And I'm going to fix this other side over here. Don't worry about doing anything at the top area. I'm going to fix my mistake right here. Like, it's okay to make mistakes. It's not a big deal. You can always start again. If you have more paper, just turn it over if you don't like it. Okay, now we're going to put a straight line in the center and a straight line in the center on both sides. And then put a little dot and a little dot. These are the eyes. A little dot and a little dot. Try to make it look like mine. Then we're going to make lemons. Go up and over, connect to the outside dot, and connect to the outside dot. It's like a little football or a little lemon, just like this. Now we're going to make the iris, that's the colored part of your eye. You're going to make a half circle that comes from the top and goes down. You shouldn't touch the bottom line. You can also get rid of that middle line if you want to, because you don't need it anymore, so you can erase it. Oops, I erased some of my other part. Okay, now, there's the other iris. Now we're going to put a little teeny circle, that's the pupil, that's the black part of your eye. A little teeny circle in the middle little teeny circle in the middle on both sides. Now we're going to make the shoulders. It's just a line going out here and here from the neck. And now we're going to make the nose. So right here, we're going to make a little line. Go lightly with your pencil and see how it looks. And then make a longer line. See how it looks. It should sort of look like mine. If it doesn't look right, just erase it and start again. To make a nose, you make a parenthesis, which is like a curve, and a curve, and then you make a bird. You go up and down and up and down. See there's like little wings on both sides? For the mouth, you're going to make a longer line. You start at one side, make a mountain and a valley, and a mountain and down. And then a line, and a straight line, and down and over. Just try to make it look like mine. Do the best you can. Now the brow. You're just making a curve that goes up and over the eye. You want to make it nice and thick. She had that beautiful brow that went across her eyes. I'm going to give her a little smirk here. She always kind of had a little smirk like she had a secret. So I'm going to curl up one corner of her lip just a little bit to make it look like she's keeping some sort of a secret that she thinks is funny. And I'm going to make a circle for a cheek. You can do this if you want to. I love doing this on my artwork. This is totally up to you if you want to do this or not. 
so I'm not going to do anything up at the top. You just leave that blank. We're now going to look at the background of Frida's work. Do you notice how she has leaves in the background? That's because it was very lush where she grew up. So she saw a lot of leaves in her world in Mexico. We're going to make a background that has lots of leaves in the, in the back of it. So we're going to put aside the face for now and we're going to work on paper. So get that third piece of paper out. So we're just going to make a bunch of leaf shapes. These look like lemons. You just go over it. And then you can add the center stem and add little lines and just play around. I noticed that she used green and yellow in her leaves, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use some green and different types of green. Use the different markers. You can use colored pencils or crayons or whatever you have. And then I'm going to go in with some yellow and add some yellow. I also noticed that she had like she had blue behind the leaves for the sky. And she was, loved the natural world. So I'm going to add blue around the outside edges of the green leaves. And I'm just going to make it look kind of scribbly and fill in the space. If you want to, you can add water, if you, especially if you have water-based markers, and you can go over the blue areas and make it kind of washy looking. You can even go over the leaf. Let's look at that book again and look at how some photographs of Frida, and you can see here like how she always put flowers from outside in her hair, and she always wore her fancy earrings. Let's look at another page. See in this one, again, flowers from outside, beautiful earrings, her lipstick, and her clothes are all brightly colored. She likes to wear traditional Mexican clothing. These are some pictures of her and her friends. And I want to show you this picture. See the earrings she's wearing? They're little hands. Picasso gave her these, which was kind of a big deal because he didn't usually think women were that great. So let's take a look at this one too. This is her with her pet eagle. I have cut out the two faces. Now remember, you're only making one face, so you can choose either or. And you're going to start to arrange it on the background. You can arrange the flowers in different ways, and you can make jewelry. So put a little scrap piece of paper over her neck and kind of line it up. And then you can color it separately and then cut it out. So I use marker and colored pencil. And I used a warm and a cool color to kind of add contrast. I'm going to cut this out and see how it looks. It might look good on the dark skinned person or it might look good on the lighter skinned person. I, I think they both look great. You can, and then I'm also going to make some hand earrings. 
you, if you're having trouble, just make a little mitten and then add the lines for the fingers. Then I put a little gem above it and a line and then I colored it in. I'm gonna cut these out too. You can make different earrings. You do not have to make hand earrings. I just thought that these were fun. You can go look at some fancy earrings or maybe go back and look at the pictures of Frida and pause it and see if you make, try to make, recreate the earrings that you saw. You're gonna glue everything together and then you're done. Oh, don't forget to add her shirt. I forgot. Let's go back in. She liked red, so I'm gonna make it red. Como no encontraba iguanas, dijo esto está muy cabrón.